what's the difference? You talk a lot about the funnel and the shoot approach in your okay. book. Uh, what is the difference between the two and how does it add value to a company? Okay, so you know in, um, in sales and marketing, you have like your, your sales funnel, right? And at the top are all the strangers who don't know about you and then they hear about you, maybe they try it, uh, maybe they buy it and then you start over at the top of the funnel and try to get someone else through it. So the funnel kind of looks like this. Um, what I encourage companies to do is to try to make their funnel into a chute. So the top and the bottom are the same width. In other words, you're attracting the people that are most likely to stay the longest. Um, lots of companies waste a lot of resources bringing the wrong people in. So one example of that, um, and I hate to pick on them, but Blue Apron, uh, the, the meal kit delivery company, um, you know, they bring in so many people to their, free, to their trial, um, but most of those people leave within six months. So those, those customers aren't profitable. Mm -hmm. So what I would be encouraging them to do is to get really clear on who is gonna come and stay forever, who they can best serve, and focus on getting their trial to those people, as opposed to you know, this really broad net of you know, attracting lots of people. The reason they attract a lot of people is because their free trial is so good that even if you're not really serious about staying, you might be interested in experiencing the trial.